looking to see if he can make something go onto Hoys here. They're hanging about because Sting actually will get the Tether off. They're going to jump forward here. In goes the channel for the taunt. Underneath the tower they go. Hoys is ignited and first blood is given over to Deadly. They're getting them down as well here. They forced him completely out of his own jungle. Yeah, still Steel can't do anything. Hatrix is coming down. Look how low Hoys is. They're using the teleport. This is a five-man dive. Bot Laker Sting snipes out Hoys to start the fight. But Dursen gets knocked off and just jumps on to Deadly. To kill off the second one. It's a two for He was nuts. pretty comfortable. He's got that man. I mean, they finished up in the true shot barrage. He's gonna. Before Deadly and Kasim can rotate, but. Sendo like pretending to be a clone. He's gonna jump in, gets himself the cyclone. Here comes the heroic entrance. Mick was sent away. Sendo goes for the second channel. And that Rift Herald is running a little bit low. That's gonna be a big tour by Hatrix onto three members. The collateral damage means Steve Boy falls down. Champion is out of there with a hook shot. That's an easy Rift Herald for BTX. <laughs> Have to be careful if Attacks gets caught out by the Taunt. Everything is layered onto him. Attacks secures himself an easy kill. Sendo. He's actually left alone, does have to flash away. Pretends to be a clone, and that is not the bluff this time. Still so far ahead right now. 6,000 uh -oh. looking for a fight. B-Boy is going to get slowed down. They're going to look for the taunt. They're going to be able to find it. Deadly, he's on a rampage. That's his fourth kill. His champion has Real. to hook. Well, maybe looking for something, but actually, Hatrix just flashes into his face. The cleanse get used. True Shot Barrage is there. World Growth comes down as they do get themselves an ultimate onto Hatrix. The GLP for the slow. In goes the Moonlight Vigil from Hoyes. Trying to put some damage into Tax. There's a lot of shutdown available, but he is blinded as Deadly is looking to run them through. Finds the snipe onto the backline. Kasing looks for the tether. Mikma's ignited, but Mikma should just about live. Jump here comes here. Chapman, though. He's looking to mop up the fight. Finds himself one. Goes in with a hex to make him tax up. Jumps over the wall. In comes Stendo with a cyclone. As Champagne gets another. Deadly will secure the kill to shut him down. Boys is still alive. The Graviton. Oh, there. actually looking to punish Hatrix here. Yeah, Hatrix looks to clear out the wave. Does get caught out by the shockwave. Teleports come in and gets himself a knock up. Looks for the taunt, but he's not going to find it in time. I'll be looking for a little something something here. It's going to play the chicken again. They go in with the ultimate. The Cyclone catches up for the double knockout. They do have another Cyclone to use, and that is the end of Champion. He flashes away. The Sendo will chase him down. On the side of Beach XL, and they're willing to fight him. Now, Sea Boy looking for Sting. Yeah, he's going to flash away, but actually, it makes us hope to turn this around. That's the Moonlight like Vigil into a two man shockwave. Sendo doesn't have that Cyclone, but Deadly just shifting forward into the face of Godsend. Gets a massive chunk of damage onto Hoist and slugs him out for the double kill. Beat what wave? Godson have to decide whether they're going to try and defend. Boy tries to defend from within that tower. The collateral Ooh. damage comes from downtown. Taxes to kill for kill. So it has to be careful from Champen, but that will be the end of the mid lane tier three. Taxa now looking for something on the C Boy. Remember, he also has a QSS, so he feels pretty comfortable to walk up to the Skarna. That is going to be the end of that inhibitor in the mid lane. End of the bot lane inhibitor. BTXL, they may just look to close the game here. The shield onto Deadly means he can tank away for a moment. They still got Baron to work with. And these turrets are being crushed. It's really draw a die for God's end at the moment as they got one turret left. And Deadly is just going in for the flank the long way around. Gets caught out for the moment as they do look for the shutdown. They're unable to find him. That death dance just makes it too hard to deal with as Champagne falls. But Dursen has to wild growth himself. Deadly finds himself a double kill. The true shot barrage. Not going to be able to kill. They do get a shockwave off onto Kasing, but Kasing is healthy enough. Hattrick go 